Chapter 12 Communications Communication means sharing of ideas, opinions and thoughts between two or more people. It can be done in writing or verbally. Let's have a look at the various means of communication. 1. Ancient means of communication In ancient times, people sent messages through a messenger. The messenger went on foot or travelled on horseback or camel to convey the message. In some places, messages were sent by tying them to the feet of trained pigeons. Two. Present means of communication are A. Postal services The government has given us the facility of sending mail through the post. This is called the postal service. The message is written on the postcard or on an inland letter. Sometimes it is written on a separate paper sealed in an envelope and sent. We have to write the address of the person to whom we are sending the letter on one side and on the other side we need to write our address. The sealed envelopes are put into the letter box. Then the postman collects all the letters and takes them to the post office. Later, he delivers these letters according to the addresses written on them. B. Telegram We are able to send important messages and good wishes immediately through telegram. The message sent should be very short. The person to whom the telegram has been sent receives it in a very short period of time. Sending and receiving messages through the postal services wastes a lot of time. So the telephone has become an easy means of communication. C. Telephone We use the telephone to contact people who are far away as well as near to us. We can speak to a person directly through the telephone. It is an easy and a quick means of communication. We can individually use postal services, telephone and mobile phones as means of communication. But if we have to communicate to people on a large scale in the society, then the following means of communication can be used. A. Newspapers Important incidents, happenings in the world, country, or village can be read in the newspapers. We can come to know the latest happenings around us, the weather forecast, the sports news and other such useful information through the newspaper. B. Radio News and important messages are broadcasted through the radio. Anything happens in any corner of the world, we get to know through the radio. In radio, we can only listen to the voice, but not see anything. C. Television Television is an important means of communication. With the help of the television, we are able to hear sound 
as well as what is going around. The recent method of sending message is through the computer in the form of an email. All these means of communications have made our life easy and comfortable. Now, let us do some exercises. Identify the pictures and write the names of the means of communication below each picture by selecting the appropriate word from the brackets. Newspaper Radio Post box Mobile Envelope Telephone Television Telefax Two Match the following To speak to people far away Telephone Urgent messages Telegram Look and hear the news Television Printed information Newspapers A message sent by post Letter 3. Who am I? First, I provide the facility of reading the latest happenings around. Newspaper Second, I help you to speak directly to your relatives far away. Telephone Third, broadcasting of news and important messages. Radio Fourth, people see films, cricket matches, etc. on my screen. Television